Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. My name is Akib and today in this video you are going to learn how you can automatically create contacts in Zoho Books application as and when you receive any order from your e-commerce store which you have created on WooCommerce. So guys, this automation that we are about to set up is going to save a huge amount of your time and manual efforts that you have to spend on manually copy pasting the data of your customers from your e-commerce store and add them in Zoho Books which is an accounting application which is used by many e-commerce store owners okay so let me show you how this is going to work so the flow of this automation is going to look like this as and when you receive an order from woocommerce store a contact will be created in zoho books automatically and the person who have made this order is going to be added as a contact in zoho books automatically and to make this happen we are using pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation guys is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Okay. So for this, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. And after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as add WooCommerce store customer as contact in Zoho books automatically. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created on this page like this. And here you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to start or trigger this workflow and the action would be the response to the trigger. Okay. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new order receiving from a uh, WooCommerce store and the action towards that trigger would be to add the person who has made the, who have made this contact as a contact in Zoho books. Okay. Right. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger here. So from this choose app field, choose your trigger application as WooCommerce. Okay. And then you have to select the trigger event as new order created. Okay. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli connect. So with the help of this, we are going to make the connection with our e-commerce store. So by following these instructions, you can do that. Let me show you how you can do this actually. This is my WooCommerce store page guys. And I'm opening the editor of WordPress. Okay, and here I'm going to uh, see my WooCommerce plugin here on this left hand side panel. And from here, I'm going to click on the settings so you can read the instructions. First of all, you have to go to WooCommerce settings. So go to WooCommerce settings. Okay, and, and there you have to see the advanced tab. So here you will find the advanced tab here. Click on advanced tab. Okay, and here you will find this webhooks option. Click on webhooks. And under this webhook section, you have to add a new webhook by clicking on this add webhook button. Okay, and here you have to give a name to this webhook. So I am giving the name as to Zoho. Okay, and I have to make the status of this uh, webhook as active. And in the topic, you have to select, uh, let's see, order created. Okay. So this is order created option selected in the delivery URL. You have to paste the webhook URL that you got here. So just click on copy and paste this webhook URL here in this delivery URL section like this and then keep this secret and API version at is as it is and just click on save webhook and a new webhook will be added here in your store. Okay, right like this. Now guys, here you can see as you have copied this webhook URL, it started uh, uh, showing this uh, webhook uh, waiting for response. And now as you have created a webhook, it will give you this webhook ID here. Okay. Now you have to click here on this 
recapture webhook response button like this click on yes and it will start showing waiting for response again so this means now you have to perform a test submissions this means now you have to make a demo purchase from your store on the behalf of any demo customer and we are going to fetch the details of that order here in Pabli Connect okay so I'm opening my store page here okay and I'm going to purchase any product okay so let's say we are purchasing this uh, product which is a mic okay so I'm adding this product to cart and let me check out from this page by clicking on proceed to check out and here is the details of a demo customer let me change these details like the name of the person is Chris okay and we have filled all the details now let me click on place order and you can see the order is getting placed here and as the order will be placed the data of the order is going to be captured so you can see the order is placed here thank you it is showing thank you your order has been received now let's check in public connect if we got the data of this order here or not and here you can see in this response received section we got the data of the order like this it is showing the total amount the name of the person who have made this order and all the details related to the customer is here okay now I want to add this same customer in my Zoho books account here okay and to make this happen you have to connect Zoho books application in the section step so from this choose I field search for Zoho books this okay and here in this action event you have to select uh, create contact option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with Zoho books so here it will ask to enter your Zoho books account domain name so the domain name must be zoho.com or zoho.eu or whatever so if your Zoho book account is this then the domain name will be zoho.com okay so you can see what is your Zoho, book, Zoho accounts domain just right here on the search bar where you have opened the dashboard of Zoho books here you can see my domain name is zoho.com so I'm just going to copy the zoho.com and I'm going to paste it here and then click on save and it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in and if you are logged in like me it will just ask to provide the access so just click on accept here and you will be connected with Zoho Books in a few moments. See we are connected now and here it is asking for the organization in which you want to add this contact or customer. So you can select the organization. I am selecting Magnet Brains here. Now it is asking for the contacts name. So I am going to map the, these fields uh, according to the data we have received here in this first step. So I am just going to map the details here in the second step. So to map these details, you just have to click here and you will find this WooCommerce order created option in the drop down and when you click on it, you will see all the details here only. So from here, map the name <clears throat> like this. Okay, now it is asking first name. So let me map the first name here. Okay, for the last name, use the same process. Okay for the email see the email here and map it okay so we do not have the website for the mobile number use the same process okay here's the mobile number billing address so you can map everything that you want here okay city let me check the city okay and I'm leaving these things blank. These are not compulsory things. I'm just showing you the examples. If you have all the data, you can map all the data of a contact. Right now, I'm just leaving these things blank. And here is my Zoho Books account, guys. Now, let me show you how you can create a contact. I'm clicking on save and send test request here. And a new contact will be added in my Zoho Books application. Let me show you. I have clicked on save and send test request now and here you can see it is showing this kind of response here the contact has been added let's check in zoho books contact section okay so let me refresh this page here and uh, 
all right you can see now chris joe is here okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation so guys you have to set up this automation only once you have to make these connections and map the data only once here after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when you receive any order from your woocommerce store this data is which you mapped here is going to change accordingly and every time a new contact a fresh contact will be added here automatically in zoho books okay so now, now let me give you a quick recap what you have what i have done here so first of all in the trigger i connected woocommerce store with the help of this webhook url we made the connection and capture the response of a demo purchase from a store like this after that in the action step i connected zoho books to create a contact and mapped the data like this to get a contact created here in zoho books okay so guys we are done setting up this automation and the good part is you can use this same workflow that i have just created because i am going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel